What's up guys? Today I am in a 2015 370Z Nismo owned by my boy Al Tomlinson. So far he has um, a stage 2 block. He has um, upgraded cams and uh, what's done to the block exactly? So it's an IPP stage 2 hookup by Kyle at IPP in Texas. Um, it's 10 to 1 compression. It's got the heads worked. Um, C2 cams and a Comedic head gasket with a full ARP L19 kit. Also on the motor is uh, CJM S1 SE that runs to two 450 pumps in a radium surge tank and that's fed by uh, Aeromotive 340 in the tank. So with these supporting mods, let's say you're making about like 750 wheel horsepower, right? Yeah, it's got to be around 750 plus right now at in the middle map. Um, in the high map, I haven't really logged yet, so I have to send my logs in to Seb so that he can tune because I added an intake manifold that was ported and polished. But the 18 PSI is 750 plus, mm -hmm. so at 21 PSI, I have no idea. I just call it a lot. So far, um, I'm really liking how the car feels. He's got um, a Hotchkiss sway bar in the front with um, HKS SV coils as well as um, upper control arms. So far, the car feels pretty planted. He also has Rays 57 CRs. They're 19. He has 9.5 in the front and 10.5 in the rears. He's running RE11s in the front with um, Toyo Proxy R888s in the back on 305s. So far, everything is feeling really planted, really stiff. The r eight plus his um, Quafi rear differential definitely made like a huge difference. I've never driven a car this fast before. There's a lot of uh, driver confidence when doing pulls in this car. I have a set of wells, 17 by 10.5s that I run big times. I've seen so. those, I've seen those before. Yeah, those are a completely different level. You don't even realize that you're spinning on the triple A's. Yeah. When you have the Mickey Thompson's on, it just goes and it's violent. So right now we're in map two, right? Three. Three? Yeah, map three. Oh. It's 18 PSI. I'm going to build a third for that one. Other than you need to finish the tune. But other than that, 
I would say for a 750 wheel horsepower car, I could daily drive this. Like the clutch, it's not too bad. It's bearable. It's, it's bearable. Like you yeah. could you could definitely drive this in traffic if you needed to. Um, I'm really loving this um, aftermarket steering wheel. It's Alcantara with carbon fiber with red stitching in it. It looks very nice and uh, I like. It gives the car like a race car feel because when you're like holding on to the steering wheel where the Alcantara is, it helps give you that extra driver's confidence that you need. But I definitely would say the um, Quafy aftermarket diff that he has makes the hugest difference because I have an open diff in my 370Z and comparing it to the Quafy, you can really tell like where the car is going to go. It's not just like skipping or hopping all over the place. I hate 93 Octane and I hate running it. And it goes out of, uh, it runs out of E85 so fast. It We're on E85 right now, right? It blows through it, yeah. So here's my Zytronics gauge. And so it's telling you what the ethanol content is right now. And I was trying to burn the 93 out of it. Mm -hmm. So right now, this is what happened when I filled up with the 93 still in it. But typically, I run around at right around E87. That's because what I do is I run one ethanol. I keep about 20 gallons at the house. Gotcha. So I'll put, you know, uh, I'll fill up, you know, half a tank with regular E85, and then I'll put the 117 octane, one mm -hmm. ethanol R pump in. And I gotcha. don't drive the car that often. So that's what I, I, I always stay ready. Gotcha. You know? I mean, like, if, so if we were out on the street right now, even yeah. though the car's not, you know, tuned, if I ran up on somebody that thought they was gonna push me around and they thought I was average, yeah. yes, I would go to map four. Even if I gotta blow it up, I'm gonna make a point. <laughs> so I always stay ready. Is that full set? When I go full set. <laughs> Why not? You know, that's what it's for. Yeah. It's definitely this car is definitely a fun street car for sure. Yeah. Would I take it on the track? Maybe. If <laughs> maybe. It's gonna be on the track. I got, I, Derek is going to build me a cage, and once I do that, mm -hmm. because what's coming is this, mm -hmm. me and Sp Spooler, yeah. Derek, me and Spooler, we did want to go fast together, Yeah. and our aim is to go back mm -hmm. and represent, because when we were there, we were the only two 370Zs there, gotcha. but we got respect. And yeah. if anybody goes back and you look at October of 19, want to go fast results, yeah. then you see me and Derek at the top of our class. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I wasn't first, yeah. but I definitely wasn't in the bottom. Gotcha. And we just had respect. Mm -hmm. And people were coming to my trailer and saying, hey man, you know, I didn't expect that from a 370Z. And when you put putting a gap on Hellcats, like yeah. gap on them, then you got to give me my respect. You know, everybody now is like, oh, the A90 Supra is this. You know what? Give me an A90 Supra in Orlando. Give me one. A lot of people, see what you got. they don't realize what you can do with this platform. Like They do now. I mean, yeah, now, but like back in the day, it was like, people were like, oh, there's no way someone's going to make 500 horsepower and then, well, I mean, like that's reliably. Like, that's like, you know, it, and it wasn't that long ago. It was... When, like I, when I first ago. started, it was it was maybe two, three years ago yeah. that we all thought that 600 horsepower was something. Yeah. You know, now at 600 horsepower, that's my map too. Yeah. And I feel naked. I feel butt naked. <laughs> you know, I'm like, damn, I don't want to be at 600 horsepower. Yeah. Man, so, driving this makes me want to boost my car because it's so solid. Like, it's just so easy to drive. You only have coilovers, upper control arms, and a sway bar. I mean, you got the Nismo um, brace in the back, at least, and, uh, and it feels it feels good enough. Like, what springs were you running again? I don't, I don't get, um, I don't get off on the whole Nismo thing like people do. Yeah, you know, I, I got this car because I like the way it looked, and I yeah. can pay for it. So I got it. If Two I want it, points. then I'm gonna get it. Yeah. You know, people get you know caught up on this old Nismo versus base. If I saw a base that I wanted. And I pay for it. That's my business. That's basically what I did. Yeah, I mean that's that's on you. That's what you got. Yeah. But I do love the the version one Nismo. I prefer the version one Nismo yeah. look better. 
But the version twos are nice too. But everyone's rocking the version two bumper because it's cheaper. Yeah. But it's nice. It's definitely a solid build. I love the the race 57 CRs. The fly one hood is nice, but if you know anything about them, <laughs> you you can let me talk about. I can talk directly to fly one about their crap. I don't have anything. That's up to you if you want to bring it That's, up. That, I tell you, I had two regrets. And the Fly One Hood is the number one regret in my build. Number one. Bar none. All right, guys. That's going to pretty much finish off the review. Um, it was very fun. Thank you so much uh, for letting me drive your car. It's my first time driving 750 horsepower. Probably one of the easiest cars to drive at 750 horsepower. If I tell you so myself, um, do you want to plug any of your information in, like your Instagram or anything like that? At Tunerexic on the 370Z forum, I am Solidus on uh, Instagram, Al Tomlinson. But nice doing this review. I want to thank you again. Um, definitely was kind of nice of you to like come out here, meet up get all this stuff done not a lot of people have been finishing their builds but anyways i want to thank you guys for watching please comment rate, subscribe and remember let's turn our dreams into reality